So this week, we wanted to show you a classic dish, stir-fried clams. Now, we're doing a Cantonese version here with garlic and doucher, but this is a dish that you can find throughout China. So we've teamed up with Sarcasmo57 and his wife, and they're also posting a spicy Hubei version, which you can find here, and we'll also link at the end. So to get started with stir-fried clams, we need clams. This is 500 grams huaga, aka manila clams. But you could also use little necks, steamers, or really clams of any similar size. Now the worst thing that you could have is a sandy clam. So let them soak in water with about a tablespoon of salt and a tablespoon of cornstarch. This will make the clams vomit out that sand that we don't want. Just mix well and set those aside for at least a couple hours. A couple hours later, rinse those clams thoroughly and blanch. To our blanching liquid, we're going to be tossing in a bit of liaojiu, aka Shaoxing wine, then the clams, and then, then let those blanch for about a minute or two. Once those clams open up, take them out, rinse under cool water to stop the cooking process, and let them drain. Now our primary flavor profile here is going to be garlic and doucher. Doucher are fermented black soybeans, and you should be able to find them at basically any Asian supermarket. We'll be pounding these together, so first crush your garlic and toss the doucher in with them. We're going to be doing this in a shallow bowl, because unfortunately our mortar is this sort of tiny little guy. And also, FYI, if you don't own a pestle, Steph's Cantonese family always did this sort of pounding with the butt of a knife handle. Give those a rough pound together, then add a tablespoon of reconstituted and diced dried tangerine peel, and a tablespoon of sugar. Now I know pounding is usually associated with Southeast Asian cooking, but it's sometimes used in Cantonese cooking when working with doucher to better distribute their flavor. So once that's thoroughly pounded after about five minutes, add in one tablespoon soy sauce, give it a mix, set it aside, and we can prep our sauce. Our sauce will be five tablespoons water and one tablespoon oyster sauce, a teaspoon of stock concentrate, a half teaspoon salt, and a teaspoon cornstarch, all mixed well. We'll be adding a few other ingredients when stir-frying, but this is the basis. To stir-fry, as always, first long yao. Get that wok piping hot, shut off the heat, add in your oil, and give it a swirl to get a nice nonstick surface. Heat on medium now. Add in two inches of sliced ginger and one sliced shallot. Give those a brief fry, about 30 seconds, then go in with one diced mild chili. Give that a fry, and after about another 30 seconds, toss in your pounded garlic and doucher mixture. Fry those together for about 45 seconds, or basically until it's just starting to smell awesome. Then up the heat to high, and add in the clams. Mix, then add a tablespoon of liaojiu, aka Shaoxing wine, around the sides of the wok. Fry for another 30 seconds or so, and add in your sauce. Give that a stir and toss in three or four sprigs of scallions cut into two inch sections. Lastly, we've got a tablespoon and a half of deep fried garlic, just an awesome ingredient. And if you can't find this, just use a touch of garlic powder or fry your own. Finish frying, making sure that sauce is nice and thickened, and take it out. A great dish, not too difficult, and an awesome side dish for a bigger meal. So right, the link for the spicy Hubei style clams is up here. And if you like this kind of content, check out their channel. They were a really big um, inspiration for us to get started with these videos. I've also linked their recipe video for how to make homemade Chinese salted fish here. And I hope you check that out. Uh, the link for both of our recipes is gonna be in the Reddit link in the description.